Hello everyone, this is Extreme Enigma 90 here, and welcome to the behind the scenes video of Battle of Two EE 90s. Now, if you haven't watched Battle of Two EE 90s yet, I suggest you go watch it first before you watch this behind the scenes video so you don't get spoilers for what I'm about to talk about. But anyways, this behind the scenes video, I've been trying to think about this for a while and what I could even talk about and share, but I figured for the start of this behind the scenes video, I might start with a little quick Q&A. It's just it's three basic questions I have. The first question comes from Golden Angel 64 who is one of the voice actors in Battle of 2 EE 90s, so you should check her out. What was the hardest part when making the project, and will there be more projects in the future, or is this the first and only project? Now, pretty much, I would say the hardest thing was basically animating the whole uh, movie by myself. I mean, I did try to get like some other animators to try helping me out, with this, but no one had messaged me or auditioned for that they wanted to help animate this SFM movie, so I kind of had to do this whole project by myself. But probably the hardest part when animating was just coming up with some original ideas, like the demon clones capturing Extreme, but I'll talk about that later. Also, another difficult part was trying to find a voice actor for Mangle because obviously I was having trouble finding like someone that had a good voice for Mangle. Anyways, moving on to the next question. The next question comes from Bernie the Cat. How did the idea and story come to you for this? Well, pretty much I was kind of inspired from like the hottest dog with Special Strike and Special Strike Rebellion and Derpy Horse 4 with End of the Meme Verse. And when I saw those, I just thought I would probably want to make my own like SFM movie, but not only just a SFM movie, but like do a whole series. And I will say that a lot of you critics will be saying about, um, the whole like idea of my character and heel being like recolors and also the whole shadow foxes or demon foxes well, they're called demon clones or demon foxes are just like recolored like splinks mangle models but obviously couldn't really commission anyone to make 3d models of the characters but i may try to get 3d models for something i may talk about at the end and the last question comes from Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy, I believe. Name's kind of cut off. Why did you make the scene when Extreme does the RKQ on heel, and was that scene difficult to make? RKQ. At first, when I read that, I thought you were meaning like QXR, but actually, you were meaning the RKO. Well, let me say. That wasn't an RKO, that was a twist of fate. And the style of the twist of fate was inspired by Jeff Hardy's twist of fate. And to answer your question if it was difficult to make, yes it was difficult to make. It was, it was completely bone animated and not rigged. And I'll show you, show you the difference between an RKO and a twist of fate. Here's an RKO. And here's a twist of fate. Uh -oh. twist of fate. Anyways, that wraps up the Q&A. Now I'm going to move on to the more exciting stuff. Talking about how making the project was like and some of the downs I've noticed and the scrapped content. Now some downs I noticed with this SFM movie, obviously it was my first time making a whole long SFM project, 
and I know it didn't really take like much like two years well I actually thought of the idea for it like two years ago but it was like ever since I saw like Special Strike and Special Strike Rebellion I just thought I just might make my own SFM movie project and call it Battle of Two EE 90s and it was like my FNAF OC faces an evil twin of his now, some downs I've mentioned earlier, characters looking like recolors, and of course, I was using Splink's Mangle for Mangle, and of course, some people were saying that I could have gotten someone to voice heal or the demon foxes instead of me just voicing those characters myself. Well, the thing was that. For Heel's character, he was supposed to sound like me, but be more like, uh, evil, and I gave him a bit of a British tone. Even though, like, people might say that the whole idea of having villains be British just is overused. But of course, the for the demon foxes, or the demon clones that they're called, pretty much I just thought I make an original voice for them, because I didn't want to use Texas speech voices for them because I wanted I wanted to be more original and have full on voice acting for my series. Now I did give Freddy a Texas speech voice even though he was intended to have a voice, but since he didn't have a voice in Extreme Origin Remastered, I kind of had to scrap the idea even though I was going to try again to find a voice actor for Freddy, but I didn't want to have like my friend Caleb voice Freddy because Obviously, he already voices, like, a lot of characters in his SFM series, Adventures of the Rosehawk Duo. Now, I know Bonnie's voice actor wasn't really that loud, but they were also the same voice actor for Toy Bonnie. And, pretty much, uh, I kind of like their Toy Bonnie voice, but I just thought I'd cast them for Bonnie, because I think they did a good job with their Bonnie voice. I know there was like a few scenes that were stop motion, such as like uh, Extreme and Heel interacting with each other. Like Extreme woke up in the laboratory, and obviously, an Extreme wondered who Heel was, and Heel said he was basically him, but evil and better. Now I know that wasn't a wasn't a really good line to say, but I didn't have ideas because I wrote the whole script of this story myself. And I know, like, the whole backstory to Heal wasn't really that good or strong. It was because I didn't have a lot of ideas for, like, what would, what would Heal's origin be. So I just went with that he came from another universe. It was either he came from another universe, or he would have been, like, something that was, like, a split remnant for, like, when Extreme first got turned into an animatronic. There was like a split uh, magic particle that like somehow bounced off and like somehow Heel would have like grew up as as a small animatronic and then start growing till he's a full grown animatronic like extreme. But that just seemed like it was going to be way too weird and wouldn't make any sense. So I just went with that Heel came from another universe and also with the portal gun. My SFM series is not canon or tied to the Hottest Dogs Special Strike series and it is not tied to anyone else's SFM series. It's all like my own universe because I don't want to have crossovers because I don't want people to think that my series is tied to like or is an alternate universe to like Special Strike or anything. Also, my series is not going to be canon to anyone else's SFM series, unless if I say so and we could try working something out. I'll also say there was a few scenes that were probably not animated well, such as like with the posing. I didn't have ideas for the generic posing. I could have done a lot better. And even though the one scene with my character walking up to Freddy wasn't that well animated, yeah, it was kind of slightly a bit rushed because I didn't have a lot of motivation. And I was just trying to get all the scenes done as soon as possible. Also, the scene with the demon clones. I will explain why it was almost like similar to like the St. Patrick's Day special from The Hottest Dog. 
Now, if the hottest dog sees this, I apologize. I wasn't meaning to steal this idea from you. I just didn't have ideas for like how I could have the demon clones capture Extreme. I mean, I would, I would, I would like to say it's a reference, but I just don't want to get a lot of hate for this. Now I know I shouldn't have done this type of scene, but I just didn't have ideas, and I didn't want to take like some ideas that people would suggest to me because then some of those people would want credit for those ideas. I did try to make the whole idea of the scene as original as I can. I try to make everything else original. And I was going to change some of those scenes that may have been slight references to like other animations and stuff. But I just didn't have time or ideas. Another thing I'll mention, the, the whole WWE 2K22 scene, I know it may have not been the best decision to use that to replicate like the fighting but I just didn't have time to like animate all the fighting I wanted and even if I did animate the fighting it was just gonna end up being stop motion and I just thought no I don't want to use too much stop motion in this because it's gonna drive a lot of viewers away so I just had to do a whole thing in WWE 2K22 not just to fill in like the whole spot of like to replicate the fighting but but also just to show off like my interest with professional wrestling now the characters were characters i did make they kind of were resembled to look like me in real life long hair but i just had he'll be like different colored like red instead of blue but i just didn't have motivation to animate and I didn't want to do stop motion. Also another thing I will mention like obviously the little text boxes for like Freddy I kind of messed up with putting in the text boxes to translate what he's saying. I accidentally put watch you mouth and I didn't finish off like when Freddy was saying is there a reason though for why you kind of snapped. Now I will say I did try double checking everything when I was editing but I guess I missed like those two things, so I apologize for that. I will try to add like captions later to fix the whole translation. But anyways, enough talking about the whole like downs. I will now talk about the scrapped content. Now, obviously the scrapped content. There were a whole ton of ideas I had for this SFM movie that were in the script, but I ended up having to scrap the ideas, and I had to change a lot of stuff. Now the original idea I had for the script was that some of the animatronics were going to go searching for Extreme, but I had to scrap the idea because I didn't have ideas for voice lines for how they would interact with each other and plus the scene was going to be animated by someone else. Also, Mangle was intended to have a big role in Battle of Two EE90s and it was that she chose to stay at the pizzeria while like Bonnie, Toy Bonnie, Fredbear, and I believe Freddy go searching for extreme but Mangle was kind of like not feeling well and like Mangle started to have like a memory of like who she was and it was that she would end up changing her character completely at the end and reveal that she was someone else and she was going to end up turning into a purple fox with purple wings and she went by the name Ashley Rose. Now this character was owned by my ex-girlfriend and which is why the whole idea was scrapped because they broke up with me. They're my ex so I had to throw this whole idea out the window into the garbage to the dump and into the incinerator at the dump. Sorry I had to say that I just had to get that whole original idea of the script out of the way. Then after when that idea was scrapped, then the idea of like the animatronics going to search for Extreme was, got scrapped as well because I didn't have motivation or ideas for voice lines for I wanted the characters to interact with each other. 
and that's what led to like only just somehow Battle of Two EE nineties focused like on extreme and heal. Even though I did try to have the FNAF characters more involved. Also, Battle of Two EE nineties was intended to be like twenty to twenty five minutes. But since I had to scrap some animation ideas, it was cut off short. Other scrap content I have was that Extreme was going to have a different texture look, and he was going to look the same as my FNAF OC looks currently, but he was going to be a bit of a lighter blue with the lightning, because I wanted to have Extreme in my series separate from Extreme in Adventures of the Rosehawk duo. But obviously I wasn't really proud of the whole light blue color of the lightning, and plus I realized with the whole green screen I did for the lava pit, the whole chroma key was taking like the light blue colors around my character's eyes as a green when it was not it was not green it was like a light blue so i had to stick with the whole like normal blue or dark blue color design for the lightning texture and pretty much i believe it looked really well now I will probably change the texture look of my character around the eyes just to make it like more of a blue instead of a light blue so in case if I ever do more animations that have green screen work, the light blue won't be taken as a green. Now there were some scrapped content with like the bloopers, yes, and the bloopers that were like near like the middle section of the end credits. There were a few bloopers that were scrapped, such as there was going to be a second blooper scene for like Heel interacting with one of the demon clones, and it was that he was going to say, If we don't get rid of my normal counterpart, we won't be able to take over the universes. And then the director would just say, Cut, it's only one universe. And then obviously the bloopers with Extreme leaving the parts and service room were going to be different bloopers, such as he was going to be hitting his head off the doorway, but I felt like that wouldn't make sense, and obviously it would be too difficult to animate him falling over. So I just went with that the door got stuck, and then the door just breaks off its hinges. And then I thought of like more bloopers, such as like somehow Toy Chica was going to accidentally swear, but uh, I didn't have time to animate that and it was end up being scrapped. I started to think of more blooper ideas when I was getting done with Battle of 2 BE 90s, like finishing the whole animation process. Now what's next for, for my SFM series? I do plan a sequel. If you might have watched the end credits scene, you would see a hand of heels. And obviously he survived in the lava pit. Now you don't get to see the whole texture design I had for him because it's a, it's a secret. This texture design I have for Heal that may be used in the next project may be used as just a concept, as I may plan to have an original model made for Heal. Now, I'm still working on a casting call for my next SFM movie project, and it's gonna be the sequel to Battle of Two EE 90s. I can't give the title yet, even though I have some titles thought of, but they're, it's a work in progress title. I'll let you all know when I make the casting call club session for when I hire voice actors, SFM animators, and Blender animators, and 3D modelers for this next project. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this behind the scenes video. Be sure to leave a like. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out a lot. Click the bell icon to get notified for every new video I upload. I thank you guys for watching. I'm Stream Enigma90, and I will see you all in the next video. EE90 out.